Boy, I made it to the UK, boy. What up, boy? Pray for me. Somebody pray over me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not doing good. You know what I'm saying? You can't influence a person with a strong mind to do nothing stupid. Welcome to Fire Combos. I am Mama C, and today I am joined by Rayvon Humble. He is a rapper from Louisiana, and he's going to be telling us about his journey. Welcome, welcome. What's going on? What's going on? Where did you come up with your uh, name from? Rayvon. Mm. That's my name. It's actually Rayvon Humble. Your name is actually Rayvon Humble. My name. My name is Rayvon Humble. Yeah. That's a really cool name. Yeah, I appreciate it. Your surname is literally Humble. Is it humble by name, humble by nature? Yeah, because where I'm from, I had to be humble, you know what I'm saying? You know, Vaughn came from Yvonne, you know, my grandmother's sister, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, Ray Vaughn, yeah, that's where they came from. Who would you compare your style to? My sound is uh, unorthodox, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't really, it's kind of everywhere, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, a lot of people compare my sound. So, you know, what they compare my sound to, they really don't even know. They they compare it to Kevin Gates, they compare it to Rod Wave, they compare it to Drake. I think they just, you know, compare it to anybody that they think is popping at the time or something. I don't know. And who are your f uh, top five um, rappers? I'm going to have to give my flowers to, uh, give they flowers to them. Uh, TZ in Nagatish, he's a uh, Nagatish, artist, um, Lil J the Youngin, you know what I'm saying, that's my little cousin, you know what I'm saying, so, you know what I'm saying, uh, he go hard, Kevin Gates, I listen to him, um, Drake only makes hits, but it's cool to, you know what I'm saying, actually see what he come up with next, so I can, I can sit there and I can listen to that, um, and then, you know, I think I go hard, so, yeah. Go put yourself in top five and rate you know that. And how do you feel about other Louisiana style rappers like Lil Wayne, Lil Boozy? Hey, what you know about Lil Wayne and Boozy? Y'all are way over there. What you know about Lil Wayne and Boozy? <laughs> yeah, I think they're the only ones I do know. Me personally, I'm I'm not like in the rap industry like. Damn. Okay. Um, like that, no. How do I feel about them? I mean, they from Louisiana. Um. Lil Wayne a little deeper down, you know what I'm saying, a little deeper down south. So, you know, he go all the way and talk like that. Um, with Boosie, you know what I'm saying? He all my people used to listen to him. I couldn't never, I couldn't never like really rock with his sound at first. But like later on, when he was actually talking about stuff and collaborating with these different artists, I'm like, okay, now, now you're trying to be versatile. Cause I don't listen. A lot of people that's not versatile. I feel like Boosie, but now he up, you know what I'm saying? He been up, but I'm just saying now, I can rock with it, you know what I'm saying? Who do you prefer, No Limit or Cash Money? Probably Cash Money, you know what I'm saying? You know, but you know, it's not either here or there. What's the next question? <laughs> what do you have that is beyond those rappers? My you know what I'm saying? My story come from pain. So I really, I really don't like, it. you know what I'm saying? I really don't like the fact that I can make good music just because of the pain, because this pain is killing me. But y'all love it. You know what I'm saying? It hurt me bad. Like, depression ain't cool. You hear me? Like, I was, yeah, you know. But what I would tell the next artist or whatever, I got like two little brothers coming up under me. I got an older brother, you know what I'm saying, that still give me my flowers while I'm here, even though he one of my biggest critics. And so, you know what I'm saying, he tried to critique and, you know, they listening to what I'm doing now. I'm trying to put them behind the camera, put them, but you know, I'm just trying to be a mentor to these, you know what I'm saying? Cause I would never tell you, go beef with this person, go beef with that person. You know what I'm saying? Even though that people think I got a beef song, a little, this song got, or whatever, but it's not, it's not, you know what I'm saying? I was just, Speaking in my little pain, girl. Like I told you, like, man, that shit, that shit does hurt. It hurt. So you touched on the the fact that you have had depression, um, and you talk about that in your song Gravity. Yeah. Is that something that you're still battling with, or is it something that you sort of were able to move past after that song? 
Oh man, look, to be honest, like nothing really changed with me. I'm just I I will never change. I will never change. Not at all, not one bit, never ever. You know what I'm saying? Like I was speaking on a situation um to one of my closest the one of my closest people to me, you hear me? Like a like a brother. My brother calling me now. But uh, I was speaking on one of my closest situations to my brother, you know what I'm saying? And um, he just didn't, he didn't understand that I really, like, I really had needed him at that time, you know what I'm saying? And he just, he actually dissed me back. So if y'all want to go listen to it, I'll give y'all, send y'all the link and everything. Did you say he did a reply to your song, Gravity? Oh yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, he did a little response. So your song Gravity was released at 21st of April and in one of your lyrics you said, what goes up must come down, it's gravity as snakes be around even family. What do you mean by that? I mean, it's, it, it hurt worse when it's family. And I had a little situation with, you know what I'm saying, kind of like just one person out the live, yeah, out the live family or whatever, so, you know, but... Bro was like family to me, so you know what I'm saying? What goes up must come down. Like if you did me like this, if you did me like this, then you're gonna get done like this. But I'm not gonna be the one to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna I never hurt that boy. I'll never cuss out that boy. I would never, you know what I'm saying? That's my dog, that's my brother, so I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not tripping. So is it something that's been resolved now or is it still an ongoing sort of beef? I mean, it wasn't supposed to be a, I wasn't mad. I was never mad. Like, at that, at that time, I was disappointed, but it shouldn't have been a beef. You know what I'm saying? Um, we spoke about some hypotheticals the year before, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it wasn't never supposed, he wasn't never supposed to really get mad. You know what I'm saying? But he, he decided, man, I'm pissed off. I'm finna, <laughs> I'm finna diss him for real. Do you think it was guilt? I think it was. You know, a lot of people, they said it was. But, I mean, that ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to protect my peace. You know what I'm saying? If I feel like I can't talk to you or whatever, and you feel like you want to be, you actually want to be mad, you actually want to try to have a reason to, if you can be mad at me, then you're not for me at all. Because if I give you a reason to be mad, then nah. I'm 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 outside my character, but you know it's it's all good. I ain't true. It's what I ain't true. So what's like a day a day in the life of um, Rayvon Humble? I don't make music every day because you know what I'm saying. Like I said, I I protect my peace and everything. So I would rather if I'm just not in the right mindset. You know what I'm saying? If I don't have that motivation that day, I just don't do. I just, I don't move. You know what I'm saying? I just don't move to the music. I don't, I don't move. You know what I'm saying? So it just, it's all good with me. I only move like I can wake up out my sleep and be like, man, I need to make this this song because I really dream about. You know what I'm saying? Lyrics. I really dream about um, recording. So you know what I'm saying? If I can wake up right then and say, yeah, let me let me hit the studio real quick then I'm doing it. No problem. What's your next track that you've got coming up? Or is it still incubating? I, gotta, uh, I don't know how you know. It feel like you know. But, uh, matter of fact, it's pulled up right now. Um, play it. Play that. Play it? Yeah, let's have a sample. All right, bitch. Hold on, I'm going to show you something. Hold on. Exclusive. Hey, it's called uh, it's called friending me, man. I'ma just, I'ma play it. I saw a friend in you. Where a friend in me too? Do do do. Um, that's how you get free. Yeah, that's great. That's great. It's great hearing that, like that Louisiana sound. I don't know why we love it over here. Hey, you know we the most underrated. I'm really like I really I really appreciate Tyler for being the Louisiana person up. 
I don't care who it was. It could have could have been the next person. I'm telling, I'm shouting out everybody. I'm giving their flowers now, right? But like, it could have been them. I would have still appreciated God. You know what I'm saying? So it's just yeah, it's a blessing, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, we don't get enough flowers, man. We don't get enough flowers. And then then they think it's cool to pop up at the funeral with flowers. That ain't cool, bro. You ain't getting my flowers when I was here. Don't get my flowers when I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? Actually, touching on that, with the um, in the news recently, there was the pre police brutality on uh, was it Ronald Ronald K Green? Ronnie who? Ronald Green. He was a Louisiana man. There was the pre police brutality. It was on the news. Um, do you feel that there is still like this unjust police um, brutality going on in Louisiana? It's more than Louisiana. If it was just Louisiana, not a lot of cops in Louisiana, they don't even do that no more. Like, they don't do it no more because it's played out. They got to find something else to do. They got to plant drugs and stuff. Like, they don't beat nobody no more in Louisiana because they know better. But they sit there, they'll, do, they'll just mess over you as a person. You know what I'm saying? They'll disrespect you as a person. They not gone. In Louisiana, that, that don't happen no more. You know what I'm saying? Like the one you just told me about, I did not hear about it because that shit rare. It's rare now. You know what I'm saying? But, and I hate it. You know what I'm saying? I hate that it had to happen, but they don't do that no more. Like at all. What do you think the uh, the answer is to, to this police brutality that's going on in America in general? I feel like these people just be wanting, um, like these little sheriff offices and these offices, I feel like they just trying to fill in spots, job, and it's about who you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, so if you the sheriff nephew or if you the, you know, whatever, whatever, cousin, you're going to get that job, right? But that ain't going to stop you from being racist. You know what I'm saying? It's racist down here, but they hiding it now because it ain't no... They don't want to lose their life being racist. You know what I'm saying? In Louisiana, they don't want to do that. So it's just like, it's pointless. It's crazy. Ain't no answer for it, you know? Ain't no answer for it. It's just going to be what it is. Like, I go through this shit. I go through this shit. Every time I step out the house, I can get pulled over. And I just got to talk like I got sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a touchy ass. Like, that's one of them pain songs you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that song about that shit. Somebody would have teared the fuck up. I'm trying to tell you. It's fucked up. Um, in your song, um, Lavelle. What'd you say? Did you say? This is song Lavelle. Is it Lavelle? You said Lavelle in one of your songs? Is this a real person? Uh, uh, what up, Lavelle? What up, boy? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> boy, you made it to the UK, boy. What up, boy? I done brought you with me. What up? <laughs> man, look, Lavelle, that's, man, look, man, that's my brother, bro. He can call me right now. He can call me right now. I'm pull up. He can call me right now, tell me we about to go to Houston, we can go to Dallas, shit, Shreveport. We can go right now. I ain't tripping. He the only one mad for nothing. For nothing. Why did you bring him up? Talk to me, man. Talk to me. I want to know. I need to know. I need to know. What's going on? What you need, what you need to know about LaVelle? We're going to talk about it. We had that he was name dropped in one of your songs. We just heard the name, so we was curious. Who is Lavelle? Nah, see, Lavelle, that's my man. That's my brother. That's my brother. But that, he is that person. You know what I'm saying? He is that person. And everything that I knew that happened that day, somebody else clarified. Like, they, they told me, hey, yeah, that's exactly what it was. I'm not going to say who that is, but, you know what I'm saying? They told me exactly. They said, man, yeah, that's what happened, but... You know, he was just like, nah. 
But I would have never been like, nah, I would have been like, yeah, let me um put some gas in the car. And I'm finna, I'm finna, yeah, I'm finna go ahead and make that happen. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy though. Exactly. Welcome to the UK, Nick. Be be appreciative. Be appreciative. You hear me? Boy, you be appreciative. Name dropping and all your songs just to get some fame. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, he dissed me. He dissed me bad. Like, that boy was calling me, man, all type, all type of stuff. All type of stuff. I don't even, I don't indulge in those type of activities because it's bigger than that, you yeah? He from Chicago. We don't do that in the booth. He from Chicago. And then at the end of the song, you said, pray for me. I did not say that. In none of my songs, I did not say that. It might be it's the sound, maybe it's the accent, it sound, sounded like pray for me. I don't know what you said, but I'm going to tell you like this. I did not say that. Uh, it might have been an accent or something, you know what I'm saying? But nah, that ain't what I said. Uh, but if I did say something like this, then I, what I would have meant was, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, pray for me. Somebody pray over me, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not doing good. I'm not doing good at all, like. But money ain't shit. Money ain't nothing. But as far as uh, as far as like, I feel like, I feel like things can just change. You know what I'm saying? I feel like things can change. Like my mindset, I feel like it can change. I feel like I'm too stressed out. I have social anxiety. I don't like people. I hate where I came from. I love Florine. Florine is where I came from. I was raised in Manny. I hate Manny with a passion. Um, just because it's like, I went through way too much down there. I went through way too much. Like, man, I'm I'm not supposed to, nah, not me, not the type of person I am. I can see if I was just, I didn't care, you know? But, you know, if I see it, pray for me, man, I'm I'm speaking from the heart. But I did not, I don't think I said that. What star sign are you? Pisces. Do you, oh, okay. I'm just saying that like, oh, right, okay. <laughs> no, because that, I find like Pisces, um, I mean, I don't subscribe to it generally, but I do like to find out because I, I, there is some insight in it. Um, and from what I know about Pisces, they're um, quite empath, empathetic, empathic. So you pick up on a lot of, everything and you're like a sponge you just soak it all in and then it just ruminates I'm in you. you i'm telling you that's exactly what it is but i don't like it if i'm in a room full of people i can tell you exactly how everybody in that room feels and i don't like that shit. i want to i want to be for me i don't want to be for everybody and that's not me being selfish that's me being like man look let me just you know let me just take my, cause I got, like I said, I got social anxiety. I don't like, I don't like people. Cause half of them people in that motherfucking room gonna mean you harm. They gonna mean you damage. They gonna mean you no good. They don't, they don't rock with you for real. They don't rock with you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like this, bro. Do you have people that you can, that do support you in your life? Do you have at least a- Hell no. No, I don't. No, no, I don't, ma'am. Not at all. None. Not one. You hear me? Not one. Support. What is that? What is that? What are you talking about? Support. Not one. What are you talking what, what is support? Tell me what support is. And I might tell you somebody. Some hopefully. Tell me what support is. Um people that you can vent to. If I had to. people like that, people. I probably wouldn't make music. This music is an outlet. If you have good people around you, you're supposed to appreciate the good times that you spend with these good people. But if you don't have that, and the only thing that you, you can talk to is a microphone that you that you paid for some years ago, you know what I'm saying? Like that that tells you something. That tells you that you can't you can't rock with people. You know what I'm saying? You can't rock with people. People don't. I'm trying to. The people that um, do connect to your music, do you think that they're going through a similar situation? They gotta be. Look, at least I used to call it uh, like some months ago. I used to call it like 
instant depression or whatever, because I know, I know one of my uncles went, had to go through it or something, or at least it looked like, but I call it instant depression. Um, so at least like one time out of a, out of a week, one person goes through that, you know, um, instead of calling it sad or whatever, they take it overboard and they just be like, man, fuck people. Uh, don't nobody care about me. Um, I'm going to take myself out. You know what I'm saying? That be real. That be real. People really do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about quick. Like, you could be hanging out with them, turning up at a little party, smiling and shit. Yeah. And then, like, three days later, they posting on Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, I think it's, it's time I just go ahead and just, yeah. You know, so a lot of people, they go through that. So I'm pretty sure they turn my music on and they hear what I'm going through. And they be like, yeah, he going through it too. So they that might keep them there. Just to, that might keep them here a little longer because now they got somebody that understand. You know what I'm saying? Now they got people that understand. Shout out to White. Do you think do you think social media has heightened that uh, that sense of loneliness, or do you think it's actually brought people together? It probably did both. Um, dang man, it's a movie that came out. Um, people was doing like, okay, no, it was a series. You remember Thirteen Reasons Why? Why? Oh yeah, yeah. Killing themselves. And so you know what I'm saying. It didn't get canceled, but they brought it to an end because they knew what was going on. Like they seen that, and it kind of made it cool to commit suicide because. This girl got a show, but she's still alive. You, you know, you didn't look into the deeper picture. You looked at the actors. You looked at, you know what I'm saying, what they was trying to, you know, the story they were trying to tell. It was just a good story. But, you know, it was, it made it, they made it too real. So what they did was they had to cut it off after what, three seasons? A lot of times people get influenced by the things that they see or the things that they hear. So, you know what I'm saying? I never try to say, man, you know what I'm saying? some evil stuff like shoot that boy body up or you know put such and such in a ditch i never try to say no stuff like that no song you know what i'm saying i would never try to. like i'm an uplifting type of artist you know what i'm saying and if my music just sound good cool i appreciate it but it's coming from a place that you know i believe in getting stuff out your body so if i'm thinking evil thoughts let me get that out my body to this microphone i'm not hurting nobody doing it you know what i'm saying but the time, the moment I lace up my forces, my black forces, and hit the streets and actually do it, then that mean I wasn't taking care of my mental health. Mental health is one of the most important things that you can, you know what I'm saying? So, so what do you what do you do now to protect your inner peace and your mental health? I really probably have no friends. Nobody hit me up. Don't nobody hit me up. I gotta hit them up. You know what I'm saying? I got family. I got family, you know, and, you know, sometimes even with them, they be busy. You know what I'm saying? They be busy. I try to keep myself busy, shoot music videos and, you know, record music and, you know what I'm saying? I got to try to get my girl back now. <laughs> <laughs> you got to try and get your girl back. Yeah, other than that, man, you know, like I, I'm, I'm by myself, so I'm not tripping. What comforts you in like those moments where you are really lonely? All right, check this out. Like I say, all right, in 20, uh, 2014, I lost my dad, right? 2014, I lost my dad. It's 2021. Um, I didn't go through that by myself. I had a little sister. Uh, she was like 17. I was like 20. You know what I'm saying? When, uh, when we lost him. And spiraling, spiraling depression. Like it was, it was, it was horrible. Like, and I was so blind to a whole bunch of stuff because I was hurt, I was damaged. Um, so it's like before, even before that though, like I said, I was in my, I was in my hometown, which I hate, I hate that place. 
But the fun that I had down there, I was drinking. So, you know what I'm saying? I stuck to drinking, you know, before 2014. So when 2014 happened, you know, my daddy, I, I kept, I stuck to what I already knew. I didn't go to no heavy drug and then I didn't go to no, you know, no crack, no meth, no whatever, weed and stuff like that. I ain't go to none of that. You know, I stuck to what I knew, but I just did it like, shit, five to 10 times harder, you know, for that amount of time. I was hurt. I was, I was, I was, I was hurt bad, you know. Um, from 2014 to 20, like I say, middle of 2018. Yeah, so I drink for the pain. I drink for the pain. And it really don't do nothing to me no more. It don't do nothing to me. It don't do nothing for me. It, uh, it, uh, the only thing it do, you know, it's like it suppresses. Suppress the pain, but that's it. Like, it don't do nothing. Else. I can shed my little tears a little easier, but that's it. You know what I'm saying? And you just mentioned that with the drink, you you went hard on it, and you actually have a new song out called Go Hard featuring uh, Lil J. You done did your research and shit. Hey, shout out to y'all, man. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? What? What's going on right now? Hey, shout out to Jake. Shout out to Young, and you hear me? Damn. Hey, yo. Um, man, look, we went, matter of fact, shout out Billy Sins uh, in Dallas, Texas. Billy and um, Don Fields, go hard. Period. But we we um recorded that song at uh Billy Sands um studio. Big fancy ass shit. I ain't never seen no shit like that. That's the first professional studio I ever went to. And um uh, we went we went up there and uh we recorded like three, four songs that day. And it was just it was gold, you know what I'm saying? It was just gold. Like, I don't think the music video did the song any justice at all. Because, I mean, I'm the only cameraman I know, you know what I'm saying? And what do you want to be remembered for in music and in life? I hope I live forever. Because I'm not a bad person. Now, I hope them bad people live forever. Shout out y'all. It's too soon to be talking about what I want to be remembered for. I ain't trying to die. You trying to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> the young generation, you not looking at them, but they looking at you. You know, you'll never know who looking at you. And uh, I want I want them to understand, make the best of your situation. Like to the ones that you know what I'm saying, like twenty and up or whatever, they kind of stuck in their ways already. And hopefully they don't get worse, but. If they not rocking with you right now, they probably will never, you know, and it won't be genuine. Uh, but I would say, like, what I would want to be remembered for, bro, just make the best. Just make the best and, like, do what you got to do while you're here. Don't worry about um, making people, um, I don't know what's, what's it called. Like, you know how some people, they, they just try to do too much? Like, okay, okay, <clears throat> like this. Some people go to Atlanta and Miami just to do it, just to go to Atlanta and Miami, right? Like, just to say, yeah, take the pictures, yeah, I went to Atlanta, Miami, right? I'm not one of them type of people. Like, no, I'm not finna do that if, you know what I'm saying, the stuff that I need done and want done in my hometown is not done. I'm not finna use money to pay somebody else. I'm finna use money to invest. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people would not know to do that because they've been listening to the wrong people. And that's the type of person they are too, though. You know what I'm saying? You can't influence a person with a strong mind to do nothing stupid. I feel like going to Atlanta, going to Miami, going to New York, going to Las Vegas, going to 
California, whatever. If you ain't got no family down there and all that, whatever, and you just going for a trip, I can look at a tree in Louisiana. I don't gotta look at a tree in Miami. Yeah, you, you feel me? Like, man, I'm not worried about nothing. I can look at water in Louisiana. I ain't gotta not need to look at water in Miami for you. Hear me? Like, I'm one of them. Like, man, hey, invest in this camera, invest in this microphone, invest in this. You can buy an iPad. That would still be an investment. You know what I'm saying? Make the best of your situation. That's a strong message in itself, though. It's And it's not a message that people are um, selling in society. Everyone is looking for what else they can have. No one's sitting and appreciating what they have. So it's actually a really powerful message and something really, like, it's it's got a lot of integrity um, attached to it, I'd say. You know, the only thing I'm worried about is is if I leave this place before my message gets heard. That's the only thing I'm I'm afraid of. Like I leave this place before people appreciate who I am. That would that would that would that would that would kill me twice. That would hurt. And is there anything outside of music that you would like to accomplish? Yeah, I mean, I'm not just an artist. Like, um, I do way, I'm a person that does the investments. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just, I just go hard. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, I'm not the, I'm the rapper. I'm the, I'm the recording artist and everything. But I'm just not that person to only do that. I invested in them, shout out them KRK Rocket Speakers, you know what I'm saying? Um, the microphones, you gotta do your research on the microphone that you want. Um, with your lights, you gotta, you gotta do your research on the lights that you want for your studio. Man, I do photography, I do videography, documentaries, short films, it don't matter, like I do it. You know what I'm saying? I just go, I just go hard. That's it. Yeah. And would you be able to finish up with giving us a little 16 bar freestyle? Oh! Oh! No! <laughs> no! Hey, hey, I'm gonna tell you what. <laughs> my youngin would though. My youngin would do that, but nah. Cause like I wouldn't even know how to how to do that. You want me to play an instrumental and just yeah? Nah. You can put an instrumental, or you could just do a cappella. Nah, nah, we not gonna <laughs> not gonna do that. Hey, I can do it, but nah, we not gonna do it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You protect your inner peace. That's all good. I'm supporting that. Uh, can you tell people where we can find you? My Facebook is my humble. Um, my Instagram is I am Ray Vaughn, and that's pretty much. Oh, YouTube, YouTube, Ray Vaughn Humble. You gotta put the little apostrophe. You know what I'm saying? R A Y apostrophe V O N N E. Humble. You know what I'm saying? H U M B L E. So you know, yeah, just get in. Amazing. We're gonna put as many links as we can below. Uh, it's been amazing speaking to you. Thank you for sharing some really deep insight about what you've been going through. And I'm sure it's going to help uh, so many people because they're going to actually feel like they're not alone in what they're going through. So thank you so much for your time today. This has been me, Mama C. Love to the world. Peace out. Peace out.